On the way to Wicklow at the Vale of Avoca, which is like a fantasy name of some place in the Lord of the Rings or something. I can't believe there's a real place in Ireland that's called that. The Vale of Avoca next to Loch Lorry. <laughs> See the ocean, how it sways in the sun Keeping our stories in its motion Lies the truth about us We are going to be staying in what is meant to be one of Ireland's oldest hotels it was built in like the 17th century, I think. Or is the 1700s? It's one or the other. I have to look this up. We don't really know much about what we're about to go visit. We're just going. We'll find out when we're there. We will. It's true. And I'm excited. Stories of joy and of sorrow. I'm dying to know. We've arrived, we're in the Vale of Avoca, there's the Avoca River behind me and we are about to go check in to the Wooden Bridge Hotel and Lodge. Gorgeous here, like we're just in the middle of all the mountains. How cool is that? <laughs> Things time will tell, we might never know We'll be gone before it all begins Songs of tomorrow. I'm dying to know it all. Stories of joy and of sorrow. I'm dying to know it all. Send me your songs of tomorrow. I'm dying to know. We're here, we made it, um, it was about an hour and a half drive uh, through Dublin all the way down to the Vale of Avoca. We're in the hotel, we have our very own balcony which I'm very happy about. Um, and it is apparently the oldest hotel in Ireland, which is cool. So a quick bit of history before we continue with the vlog. Back in 1606, this hotel was first licensed as a coaching inn. In one form or another, a place of rest for weary travellers has existed on this spot ever since. Since 1606, a great number of accounts for those who have passed through have been recorded. The earliest record to exist is of the Earl of Stratford. He was the Lord Lieutenant of Ireland and the King's representative in the 1630s. This was back when Ireland was still under British rule and not an independent republic. In 1691, a strong timber bridge was erected by King William's army, and this spawned the area's name Wooden Bridge. And despite not being the real name of the area, it's still commonly used today. In 1796, the Wooden Bridge Inn was central to the great Wicklow Gold Rush, when gold was discovered in the mountains nearby. The inn was only a few miles away from the Goldstruck Mountain, so many stopped in on their journey to the gold mine. Jumping forward a few years, the hotel and the area surrounding it became synonymous with the history of the Irish fight for independence. In 1910, Eamon de Valera, who was a leading figure during the Irish War of Independence, spent his honeymoon at this very hotel. 
De Valera went on to become the third president of the Republic of Ireland. The room in which him and his wife Sinead de Valera stayed during their honeymoon is now named in their honour. The hotel was purchased by the O'Brien family in 1993 and they began slowly updating and expanding it to bring it up to modern standards while still trying to honour its origins. Now it sits proudly, showing off its four centuries of record as the first house for hospitality. Dan ordered a starter, I didn't, so now I have to wait for my main. <laughs> His eyes are very open, but they usually kind of tie them together. of a hike. Dan just met a guy who's working the mines here and he says there's like seven miles of mines underneath this uh, mountainside. So he gave us permission to walk up through the mine bit to go see this run. Whew. Yeah. We're pretty high up already. Out of breath. Me. <laughs> mm, Imagine but... they were mining gold and we happened to find like a gold nugget. That would be great. We'd be rich forever. Get a gold nugget? Gold are, gold are a lot, right? Not really. We'd be rich forever. <laughs> now we have to go back to the path of hell. Yes, we do. Oh. Bye. Bye. So, just gonna show these innocuous but fucking horrible spiky chickens to everyone. Ah! <laughs> ah, I went into it! I was doing so well, I was brushing past it and then I just went, I took a bad step and went into the fucking plant. <laughs> ah! 
Wow, I was, doing, I was literally just thinking to myself, I have done so well in not getting stabbed too badly. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> it swung at me! <laughs> ah, you prick! You literal prick! Get the fuck! So now I... Whew, there was meant to be a storm in Ireland this weekend, so I thought this whole vlog was going to be us sat in a car freezing like while it's lashing rain outside and it turns out to be and I, I, the thing is I thought that would be a realistic portrayal of what your holiday in Ireland would be like because that's what the weather is like most of the time but no, no, YouTube wants me to lie to everybody again and pretend that Ireland is sunny and beautiful and has blue skies all the time it doesn't, it does not <laughs> Scratch what I said earlier. This is the perfect representation of an Irish day. It's nearly 20 minutes since the last time I was talking like this when it was blue skies, now it's raining. Coming after you. Bailing back to the car. If we can make it back without this absolutely becoming torrential, this is really pretty good. And we'll be a lot faster getting back down than we were getting up. This is true. Bye bye, Ruin. Bye. We made it back to the car, back to civilization. Warm. Oh yeah it is. That's because it's cold sitting, out. It's been sitting in the sunshine. Ooh. Whew. Oh that was great fun. It's cold. Show you now, but great fun. And uh, my teacup made it all the way back down because oh. we don't litter. I think I've been covering the mic the whole time. We don't litter. Ooh. Sunshine? Lunchtime. Let's go get some lunch. food. Let's go get some food. Whew. So next. We are going to the Vale of Avoca. The Vale of Avoca. We're going to Avoca, the village itself, which is only around the corner from here. In the center of the Vale. <laughs> in the center of the Vale. The Knights of the Vale. This is the Vale. This is the Vale. <laughs> sure, this is the Vale. Um, and let's see what's in the. In These the... came back from a search. <laughs> Avoca. Mill shop and cafe. And then over here is like the Avoca weaving mill. That's where we're going to buy our tourist swag. <laughs> Let's go see if they have any food. I'm hungry. Is the cafe closed? Next two, three weeks, we should have them Yes? Cafe's closed, so no food here. Um, uh, try and find another cafe for food? Somewhere? So many nice pretty so parts. We'll do a very quick bit of shopping and then go find cat uh, food. So we haven't managed to get any food, which is what we came in here for, but we are buying lots of items. <laughs> Successful shopping trip. Now we still need to find food. So we asked the um, person at the till there, where should we go and eat? Uh, and they said, go to a place called Mickey Finn's in Red Cross. So let's put that into the map and uh, see if we can find our way there. I'll drive this time. You want to drive? Yeah.
mean, it looks good. Let's hope they have food. Excuse me, can we have food, please? We are just wonders. They say the mark of a great Irish pub is one that makes you feel like you're at home. Well, when we entered Mickey Finn's, we were immediately greeted not only by the waitress, but the bartender and the person sitting at the bar. When you enter a pub in the middle of nowhere, apologies to the people of Red Cross, but what feels like the middle of nowhere, you might not expect much, but this place was stunning. The decor was eclectic and varied in the main bar, like it had come from all corners of the globe. But then there was this hidden room at the back called the Snug, and it was decorated like your grandmother's house. There were armchairs and coffee tables, telephones from the 80s, and bizarrely, vintage superhero signs on the wall. It was a beautiful collection of antiques that I did not expect to find in a bar in the middle of a very small town. When we first arrived, it seemed sleepy, but I like to imagine this place coming to life teeming with people. Cheers. Cheers. Slancha. Slancha. After chatting to the very friendly staff for about 10 minutes, we took our seats and ordered some burgers. I got the artesian Irish eight ounce burger with maple smoked bacon. While Dan got the Mexican chicken burger. Let's try and get into the shop. Oh, I got a pickle too. You got a pickle, Rick? Oh my god, I kind of want to try to try this. Oh, 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 garlic sauce, garlic sauce over. Oh my god, it looks so good. Mmm, <laughs> mmm, 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 I think we might have had a religious experience eating this food because I think it was the best burger I've ever had. Mm. It's oh so man. well seasoned. It's so well seasoned. Mm. Oh my god, it's so good. Oh man. If you're in Wicklow, come here. Come here for food. I would drive the two hours down here, well, the hour and a half down here just to come here. What, what is the name of this place again? Mickey Finn's and Red Cross. I don't know where it's not dangerous. I told you there's no beach, it's just rock. There's beach, there's... Dan really wanted to go to the beach, but it's night time now, and also it's not a beach, it's just rocks. This is where the rocks meet the sea. <laughs> you can't see it, but I swear there are waves down there. It's so cold. I was not enthusiastic about this part of the trip. Is this why you walk quicker? <laughs> So cold. Ooh. We collected some pebbles on the beach. Saw the Pacific Ocean? That's the Irish Sea. That's the Irish Sea, sorry. Which one's Atlantic, oh, Atlantic is on the other side? And Pacific's are on the other side of the world. Never mind. <laughs> I couldn't remember which one. Saw the Irish Sea. Mm, it was beautiful. And nearly got us. It nearly joined. Made yeah, us join nearly it. got wet. <laughs> okay. Uh, time to go back to Woodenbridge now. Time to so, go to Woodenbridge. Leaving Arklow, driving home back. And uh so that brings us to the end of our Wicklow trip. Did you have a good time? I had a good time. It was great. We got to I explore our... Yeah, I know. We got such good weather. So strange. I thought this would be a realistic 
um, representation of Ireland, but it wasn't. It's still beautifully sunny out. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I got to explore some of Wicklow's places and if it can take anything away from everything that I showed you today, if you have an opportunity to go to Mickey Finn's in Red Cross and eat their burger, do it. It is worth the drive to Wicklow just for that burger, I swear to God. Plus it had like the best atmosphere. I didn't get to show it in the video so I didn't want to film a person who I uh, didn't want to be on camera. I didn't ask him but I'm sure he didn't want to be on camera. Uh, but like the, the proprietor slash barman slash whatever he was, was like the friendliest person. We had great banter with him immediately. And that is like the true representation of a real Irish pub is like, you feel so welcome. Like you just walked into someone's home. So yeah, go visit Mickey Finn's and tell them their burgers are amazing. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the vlog and I will see you next time. Do be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to this channel and hit the like button because I think that helps the YouTube algorithm. And drop a comment and let me know, do you want to go explore Wicklow or any other part of Ireland? And where should I go next? Cheesy outro, I like it. Okay, bye. Out to the moon with me. Actually, I'll see my spike. Ah, they are. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying. Oh, did I, saw I was just like, did I say, ah. Look, we right up there. Oh, fuck. Ah! Uh.